Galloway's Support Through Silos. Galloway's Get Active. Lytham to Fairhaven Lake. Hey everybody, it's James and Jane again from Galloway's bringing you on another of our video walks. This time we're at uh, Lytham and we're going to walk along the pram to... We're not going to walk along the pram. <laughs> we're going to walk along the prom towards Fairhaven Lake, round Fairhaven Lake and then back to, back to here at the start point which is just near the windmill. You might be able to see the windmill behind us. So come along, it's a bit of a, a chilly late afternoon but we'll uh, We'll see what we can find for you. Stay tuned, let's go. So leaving the car park behind, we head in the opposite direction of the windmill. So we're heading towards Fairhaven Lake. The windmill is behind us. You can either go down the steps and walk along the beach and the seafront, or you can keep along the promenade and just walk along there. We took the option and walked along the, the seashore. The video is now showing views across the salt marsh, looking towards Southport. It was late in the afternoon and the sun was uh, slowly setting behind all the clouds. So we've got some green marsh grass coming up uh, through the, the wet mud that's on the, on the seashore. There's now a, a shot of an old sailing boat. We carry on following the path along the, the seashore. On the right hand side there's an, a small embankment which leads up onto the, the promenade, the paved promenade. And there's another shot of a, uh, looks like an old rowing boat on its side. With the, and another shot of another sailing boat with the estuary behind it. Keep a bit further up along the, uh, the seashore. You've got the brightness in the sky of the sun behind the clouds. It was quite an overcast day this. There's another, looks like a fishing boat of some sort, an old one. It doesn't look very seaworthy, I wouldn't like to go out in it. And there's an oyster catcher, which is a, a wading bird with long red legs and a long white beak. It's black and white and it's probing its beak into the mud looking for food. Again, carrying along the seashore. It gets a little bit rough and rocky in places along here. So if you walk along the seashore, just be extra careful where you're putting, where you're stepping. The video is now showing another wading bird out on the mudflats. This time it's a curlew, which is a brownish bird. Again, it's got long legs for wading, and this one has a long, down curved beak, which it uses for probing in the mud to find uh, food, such as uh, worms, small mollusks, things like that. And just behind it, there's another oyster catcher.
another shot of a, another sailing boat with the, the dark sky, dark cloud sky behind and the sun just peeping through at the bottom. So a bit further along the, the seashore we come to some steps leading up onto the promenade. So we leave the seashore here and head up onto the promenade. At the top of the steps we turn left and follow the promenade which will lead us towards Granny's Bay and then on to Fairhaven Lake. Promenade's really flat, it's well paved, uh, not many trip, trip hazards and there's plenty of benches if you, you want to have a sit down. So at Granny's Bay there is, you need to be careful here because there's some steps leading down onto the, the shore and they're not very distinguishable from the, the prom and there's no barriers there. So once you get to this bit I would suggest walking more towards your right hand side away from the seaside just so you don't fall down the steps. I'm showing a view across the bay. And a bit further on from Granny's Bay you come to a car park and across the car park you've got Fairhaven Lake. So we've got the we've got the seashore, you've got the promenade, you've got the car park and then you've got Fairhaven Lake. And the video is just showing a view over Fairhaven Lake from the car park. Now take the path from the car park, which leads down to Fairhaven Lake, uh, the lakeside. So it was getting later on in the afternoon and the sun was starting to set and the, the light was starting to fade. So we just keep following the path through the trees, keeping the lake on our right hand side. further up we come to a, a fork sort of in the sand dunes with some trees we take the path on the right hand side which again leads down towards Fairhaven Lake. Jane's just leading the way at the moment. She's got an umbrella in her hand, a long coat and a woolly hat on. Now we come to a view over the lake, there's some railings You've got the lake and in the distance you've got the Spitfire Memorial standing proud all lit up at night. This is an RAF 500 pound general purpose bomb used on operations from 1939 to 1945. It was carried by all RAF commands on a range of aircraft. This weapon would have been used for attacks against railroads, armoured vehicles, shipping and concrete military defences. The London St Anne's Spitfire During World War II, towns and villages across Britain embarked on various government-led fund raising projects to help the war effort. The Wings for War schemes raised funds for various aircraft types known as presentation aircraft. The residents of the borough of Ludden St Towns got behind Lord Beaverbrook's Spitfire Fund campaign and pulled together as a community to raise a staggering 6,500 in 1941. The sum raised was matched by the Air Ministry and a Mark V Spitfire registration W3644 was built and allocated the name of Ludden St Towns. In 2009, to mark the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, it was proposed that a permanent tribute to a full-scale replica of Spitfire W3644 be built as a memorial to the men and women of RAF Fighter, Bomber and Coastal Command. Donations from the general public were sought and after three years, 80,000 had been raised. From this initial fund, the 19 Squadron Spitfire W3644 was raised onto its plinth on the 14th of August 2012. 
Further development of the memorial continued and on 21st of June 2013 the scheme was completed with the official opening of this memorial. OK guys, so the, the light is going. Um, we've now got to the end of Fairhaven Lake. So all that's left for this walk is to retrace the steps back to where we started. It is a linear walk. And as you can see behind us over here is the, uh, the Spitfire Memorial at the end of Fairhaven Lake. And that is it for from me and Jane. So all that's left to say is Hope you've enjoyed this walk it's been something different um, stay safe and we shall see you in the next video thanks for watching bye